god! Oh my god! Hey guys, GJC here with your weekly marbles on stream update for Season 16, Week 5. Let's jump right into the meta report. Recently, the server tracking the energy system has been having issues properly tracking the energy and resetting at the end of the racing day. For this reason, the studio has decided to move the energy reset time to 10 a.m. Eastern. This allows the dev team to better monitor the server and the energy system. We're already beginning to see how this affects the meta. The 6 hour difference means that streamer and racing habits have all changed. Instead of providing the first races of the day for grinders, early morning streamers are now helping them burn energy first before the reset. In turn, the late night streamers will now have to keep a closer eye on energy tier progress. We'll be keeping a close eye on how this change in the energy reset time further affects the meta. Thank you all for your patience. Thank you to the devs at the studio for working so hard on this game we all love. I think I speak for the whole community when I say we're glad that they don't have to wake up at 4 a.m. anymore to fix server issues. This past week, we passed an amazing milestone, 1 million individual racers in a season. Which is why the entire Marbles community is my Marbler of the Week. The Marbles community is truly unique compared to many others on Twitch. We think of ourselves more as a large family. Since I've been streaming, I've been supported by so many streamers. In my early days, I was dependent on the likes of Grandma's Cookies, Steaming Pola, and Niffer for a shout out when I couldn't get enough racers to run a qualified race. The supportive mentality of helping new streamers is something I carry with me to this day and try to pass on. Though we're all competitive and driven streamers, we never see ourselves as being in competition with our fellow Marble streamers. In addition, mainstay racers such as Becca, Dancho, and Mrs. Riz would always be there to support my stream as well as other streamers in the community. Finally, there is almost no toxicity in the community, and an amazing feat compared to many others on Twitch. This is largely due to the example set at the top from the studio, starting with Pixel himself, who sets the tone for the rest of us. The support that I've received from the studio has been astounding. Pixel has made himself available for any questions that I might have, and was always a huge sounding board for me when I first started making these videos. It's almost unheard of that the head of a game studio is so accessible to the community that plays its game. The studio keeps a pulse on the community as a whole with the help of its community managers and community support members. They truly want each streamer to succeed and will continue to strive to make that happen. We now move on to Trackmaster's Corner. One of the most common questions about tracks centers around some of the studio's oldest tracks. You may have noticed that some of these tracks have a broken track in the background. These are actually tributes to the original versions of the track before its current alliteration. As you can see, we've come a long way since the original set of tracks were released. It's now time for our Marble Events of the Week. Thursday, May 7th, Nalu will be hosting a tournament from 7 to 11 p.m. Eastern. The Pixel by Pixel podcast is on Friday at 10 a.m. on Pixel's channel. It's hosted by Spoo, Standard Damage, and Pixel. Community Day starts at Friday at noon on Pixel's channel. Race for a chance to win exclusive skins and Pixel by Pixel coins. Halfway through the day, we'll raid into Standard Damage to finish off the rest of the races. DMP3 will be hosting a tournament on Saturday, May 9th, starting at 7 p.m. Profanity and Sleepy Pan will be hosting the Ladies' Day Dual Stream Tournament on Sunday, May 10th from 2 to 6. Make sure you're racing in both streams. Headsnap and Deadpool Plays will host a Dual Stream Tournament Tuesday, May 12th from 11 to 5 p.m. Again, make sure to race in both streams. Studio artist Shabunia Gaming will be hosting a tournament Thursday, May 14th from 6 to 10 p.m. This concludes our week's episode. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment below, also hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all things marbles. Please also follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in the races.